<clears throat> All you need is pencil, paper, crayons, marker, whatever you guys want, okay? Find the dot, dot in the paper, and now we're going to draw the first part. You start with a line, and then you do a kind of a half oval, okay? And we're gonna do his body. We're gonna come down, make half of a square, come back, make half of a square, and then we're gonna go all the way around it. Make sure to draw light because we are going to erase some here in a little bit, okay? So I usually come like this and see if I made my face a little big, and I did, so now we can make it a little smaller, okay? So, here is the start of our Among Us. You guys ready to make it look like a unicorn? I am, it, it is fun. I, uh, <clears throat> I've done one, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So now we have the body on here <clears throat> and we are going to go give it hair. So let's start right here and we're just gonna give it a swoop and come in like that. And we'll erase all the stuff here in just a little bit. Now we're going to dangle some hair and go down like that. <clears throat> we're gonna draw an ear right here and it's the shape of a triangle. And then we're gonna put another triangle and then we're gonna put some hair around that too. Okay, so now we're gonna go erase that line, erase that line. We can erase this line, but we're gonna keep going, okay? Because here's this backpack, okay? Now, right here, we are going to kind of give it a little wave, okay? Bring it back, give it another little wave, and then come back. So now we're gonna erase all these lines because the hair goes over. And then we're gonna give him a unicorn horn. And then another ear. But it's not gonna be as big because it's hiding, kind of. Okay? So that's gonna be the other ear. So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make some uh, other hair. Come out like that. And then we can uh, bring it like this. So now we have quite a bit of unicorn hair. And so you erase all the lines. And if you're wondering why we erase the lines, we erase the lines because the hair goes over all the lines that we drew over, those lines get erased because the hair is on top of it. So those lines won't be there. Now we're gonna give it a tail because the tail usually goes right here. So we can start like this, okay? You can get, put one on top of it and kind of swirl it. And then we're gonna give it a two little small ones. So. Now you guys see the lines right here. We need to erase them because, and then we'll draw the other lines back. So now we have our unicorn tail. <clears throat> and since it's a unicorn, I felt like that was a little crooked and it was bothering me. And if you ever feel like you want to fix something, that's the fun part about art, is you can fix whatever you want and uh, whenever you want. Now, I'm going to draw a heart in it. And even on the outside, if you wanted to, you could uh, give it a rainbow. So we could kind of go like this, heart. 
Rainbow. 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 And then put a little cloud in it. And if you're wondering why, what? That's so uneven. Well, the cloud, you go and erase the lines in. Okay. And then we're going to outline it all with black. We're going to color the cloud blue so you won't see any of the lines, okay? So let's get a black marker, outline it all. And you just do it, everything. And if you want to make more on your rainbow, that's okay. I don't make mine crazy even because I want to show you guys that uh, it doesn't have to be even to be beautiful. I actually like making stuff uneven. I see the beauty in that. I also show you guys that uh, you don't have to color perfect because all coloring is beautiful. I kind of went over that one, so. Oh, look what I just did. I just wrote on my unicorn, but guess what? It's okay. It'll still be pretty. So now we are going to do this line. And then here's the part of the backpack. So you're just gonna keep going down. Come up. Go over the fun heart. Go around the face. Do the pretty hair. Do the pretty hair. Do an ear. The unicorn horn. Some more hair. There's so much hair. <laughs> there is, and it's so fun. All right, now all we have is the tail left, so let's keep going over it. Okay. There we go. So, you guys ready to color this fun thing? I am. So, <clears throat> I have it. I am going to color with uh, some markers because I have some on me and some uh, crayons. I really like that uh, unicorn horns are supposed to be black. I meant gold. Well, I think gold, but you guys can do whatever color you want. So I'm gonna color the head and his shield gold. And then if I go over some of the black, I will trace back over it here just a little bit. This marker is kind of strong, but I like it. All right. So we have that. And I think it does go up just a little bit. So, <clears throat> and that's what we'll do right there, okay? Whenever we are done, I will go over all the black and show you what it looks like. So this cloud that I showed you that I went over, let's see, we're going over this and you cannot see the lines that I did. And if you did it with crayons or marker or color pencil, none of it would show whenever you did it. And so I'm leaving a little bit, I am, kind of doing my clouds circular because I feel like that's what clouds look like and I'm not coloring at all. You guys see how I left some? And I kind of thought this blue color was pretty. So let's do some of the tail like that. Oh yeah. That's cool. And then we'll, because you know the hair is always all kinds of different colors, right? Okay, <clears throat> and when I get done, I will go over um, it with different colors. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a crayon, but I want a red. Here we go. So here's a crayon. Oh, that's not red. I'll find it eventually. So I'm gonna turn it around like this to show you. 
See how I still have some pencil showing? It still kind of shows, and if you wanted to go through and erase it, that's fine too. I just wanted to show you, you don't have to be crazy particular about it. You can erase it if you want to or not erase it if you want to. Okay. All right, so now I'm coloring my heart with a crayon. Making it red, checking it twice. Here we go, pretty red heart coming up. And then of course, we're gonna have to put some pink in it because I feel like a uh, Among Us unicorn has to have lots of pretty colors in it. All right, so we have our hearts colored. Oh, I just smudged it, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna show you what happens whenever you smudge stuff. You just keep on going, okay? Keep on going. And now, here is part of the hair. Sometimes this doesn't wanna work very well. And we're gonna color it pink. Yeah, and we're just gonna color all of it. All right. That one's done. And then we're gonna do, we'll do this one right here. We'll keep coloring this one until it's completely colored. Sometimes whenever you use a, a different kind of marker on some kinds of white paper, it uh, doesn't cover as well, but if you just wait on it to dry, you can, it'll cover the next time. And that's what uh, we're gonna have to do on this one, but it'll be fine because it'll look good. It'll look good when we're done, I promise. So we're gonna do this one pink too. I think that'll look good. Okay, so now we have that one. And I don't know if you guys know this about neons, but neon colors are no, like, they're not opaque, so you can always see through them. So if you ever wanna do anything neon, be ready to make uh, like two or three layers, okay? So now we're gonna do this one lime green. Lime green hair is awesome. And we're gonna make this one lime green. And we're gonna come back around and make this lime green. How fun is that, right? It's pretty, it's very pretty. Okay, what other one do you want lime green? Uh, the tail, okay. Come around here. And there are some that I'm going over and if I need to go over with black again, I will, so. Rainbow. I like purple. And I was gonna do part of the tail with purple. I am mixed media in this today. I'm doing paint markers and crayons, but you guys can do crayons, markers, whatever you guys have, okay? I just wanted to show you guys like the difference in stuff and what it looks like. So there's some of it right here. Super fun, super, super fun. So and let's get a blue crayon and do one of these. So we're gonna do blue on some of it. Come all the way across. And then we're gonna get a dark blue and then a red and an orange. I'm not doing all the colors and I'm not going in order. So this is not the color of the rainbow, okay? I'm just kind of doing how I want to, okay? So now, here we go. Kind of going across and you guys see how I'm not like doing it like 
super, super, super good and staying in the lines. I am trying to show you guys that it is okay if you can't stay in the lines. Coloring is so much fun and I want you guys to have fun doing it. So here's some pink, we're gonna get some pink. And then I haven't really decided of the next color, but we might uh, just get a darker pink and then end with teal or something. So we could, we could do this color end with a darker pink. Ooh, that's pretty. It's definitely very pretty. And I kind of like how this unicorn horn uh, smudged because it looks like it's shining. And it will whenever we get done. All right. <clears throat> so that, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the middle kind of make it look like it's popping out. Gonna put some of it right here, make it look like it's popping out. All right, so we have the rainbow that I wanted to do done. Okay, so there that is. Now, what are we gonna do next? We are gonna finish the hair and then outline it. My unicorn is gonna stay white and uh, we just have to finish the hair. So what color do I want to use now? Probably gonna use a light pink. Always, if you're using paint markers, make sure to do it somewhere where you are not making a mess. And if you do make a mess, make sure to clean it up. Do not get it on your clothes. So you're parents or family have to throw that shirt away because it is not washable. So we're gonna keep going. And then can you guys see how I'm going over the lines? It's okay because we are going to go over it soon. Okay, so there's pink. And then here in just a second when it dries, we are going to go over it with black. So, put some dots in the middle of that. Just have some fun. Dots in the middle. Yay! You're never done making art. It's so much fun, so much fun. Okay. So, <clears throat> this part's done. Going over it just a little bit. Having a little bit of fun. Now, I told you I was going to uh, keep the unicorn white. And I am. And then we're gonna go over the rest black. And I'm gonna do that too. I have a uh, I was going to go over this with white. You guys see that? And then I told you not to fret because I got stuff on it because I have this and I was gonna go over it with. And now you can't tell. The black you still kinda can, but uh, most of it you really can't tell. So any of the spots that I messed up on besides this because I think it looks like it's shining, we are going to leave and we are going to keep it white. I love it. All right, now, last and best part. Are you ready? We are going to outline it with black, and I'm going to show you what the finished piece looks like. Here we go. We're gonna do the head right here. We're gonna turn it around. And then we're gonna finish the hair. And 
finish this hair. See how we're just going over it? So we're not really doing anything different. We're just going over it. So the pieces that uh, we got it on um, have an outline. Okay, so now we're doing that. Giving it an outline. Going over that part. And I think we are almost finished with the outline. Let's see, one right here. Are we done? Right here. Now, we have made an imposter. What do you guys think? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And actually, we can actually give it unicorn feet too, if we wanted to. You can do anything you guys want. Art is never finished. If you think of something that you want to do, do it. Don't let it hold you back. I made a couple mistakes on here and I kept going and it still looks really, really nice. So whenever you guys get done, you always sign it. So I'm going to sign it Mrs. Harris or Mrs. Amanda. And thank you for watching. See ya.